I am Dr. Anumir Elias. I am here to uh, study, uh, teach you about the solid waste management and landfill. So today in this subject, we will be uh, starting with what are the sources of solid waste and from that sources, what are the different types of solid waste generated. So what are the solid waste? So as you all know about solid waste, solid waste means it's a waste material in a solid form which is generated from different places right so it can be from a residential house or it can be from a commercial place it can be from industrial place anything so the sources will be like different places but the waste generated will be a solid waste so the waste that arise from it can be from a human activity or from an animal activity so that call a waste and these waste after we in our houses in the residential areas we will use the waste I mean we will use the material and later on we will dump the plastic cover for example milk packet we are using the milk and disposing the packet into the waste so that is useless or unwanted things are called as the waste so uh, in houses mainly the waste are of heterogeneous waste why because uh, in daily basis if we think about uh, our house we are making uh, generating plastic waste food waste is there liquid waste is there so different types of waste are there so we can call it as a heterogeneous accumulation of waste so when it comes to a textile industry textile industry as we all know especially dyes are there so more waste will be generated from the dyes so that is like a homogeneous waste and the waste can be called as refuse rubbish garbage and trash etc all these terms i'll be explaining in the coming slides so coming to the sources of solid waste you can see i had kept some sources of solid waste here one is residential commercial institutional construction and demolition municipal services treatment plant sites so all these comes under the municipal solid waste other than the municipal solid waste there are some other sources also that is industrial sources there agricultural mining and quarrying waste energy production waste so now we will go in depth with each and every sources and what are the types of waste generated here you can see the residential source in the residential source as i already told there is houses residential areas from the houses how much is the waste generated it varies with the single family multi-family and in flats in the flats you can see low medium high rise apartments are there so what are the types of solid waste generated think about our house in our house daily what is the waste we are generating so there will be food waste will be the paper waste will be the plastic leather wood glass so all type of waste are coming from the houses so that we can call it as a heterogeneous waste are generated from the residential areas coming to the commercial one commercial means it includes all the restaurants stores markets offers hotels etc so from the stores from the stores what is the waste generated depend upon the store it will vary so if it is a bookstore so there will be paper waste will be generated cardboard will be generated if it is a restaurant food waste will be generated hotels food waste will be generated even print shop what paper waste will be generated and from the repair shop and the metals glass everything will be generated and in the institution institution means schools government dell centers etc so in that also from the institute what are the waste generated there will be paper plastics metals etc construction and demolition made so you know what is meant by construction so what are the material we are using for the construction purpose so if we are using a pipeline so for the construction so we will be cutting the pipeline based on the length what we want so the remaining one will be the uh, waste and for example brick we are using for construction if we want a brick we have to in the corner portion or in the edges we have to cut it and keep it so the remaining one will comes under the waste so these are the waste coming from construction and what is mean by demolition demolition means we, if we want to renovate a building so there will be some part we will be re demolishing and we will be renovating at that time what is the waste generated or after the lifespan of a building after 30 years we will be demolishing that building so those times the reinforcement steel bars will be the bricks or whatever the things we are used in that particular building even wood also the furniture also everything comes under demolition waste municipal services 
municipal services means street waste so daily the you know, people will be cleaning the streets municipality people they are cleaning the streets so at that time what are the waste generated street waste will be there or oh, garden park from the park garden trimmings will be there landscape waste will be there so uh, some debris will be there or from the beaches what are the waste it all comes under the municipal services treatment plant sites and municipal incinerator so what are the treatment plant municipal treatment plant what are the waste generated from that especially the sludge that comes under the treatment plant and from the industries what are the waste industrial treatment process so all the treatment plants what are the waste generated comes under the treatment plant sites so all these things explained about municipal solid waste so other than that municipal solid waste i had told you about industrial waste mining waste agriculture waste etc so we will go through that waste now so coming to the industrial waste what does mean by industrial waste so industrial waste will vary based on the type of industry so if it is a textile industry more textile dye waste will be generated if it is a leather industry leather waste will be generated more so here this almost it will be a homogeneous waste because in that factory what are the waste generated it will slightly only vary it won't vary like a residential uh, building so what are the examples coming under industrial waste rubbish will be the so factory rubbish will be the and some food processing if it is a food industry food processing waste will be the acids alkaline are one of the main important waste generated from the industry agricultural waste so we all know that what is mean by agricultural waste uh, actually if we are generating crops like we are creating paddy for example uh, so in that paddy field there will be uh, rice husk will be generated and the straws will be generated all these things comes under the agricultural waste so as since we are increasing the increase in the agri agricultural growth like for example the, we are using genetic Uh, genetically modified crops we are generating so we are getting more yield day by day so if people are not using or purchasing that much of uh, vegetables or fruits or the agriculture material what will happen is these will come into uh, rotten form and this will become as a waste material so when there is a high rises in the productivity what will happen is there will be a increase in the volume of crop residues also and uh, apart from that there will be an increase in animal manure disposal also so this comes under the agricultural waste so come in the agricultural waste comprises of crop residues animal manure and from this diseases will be spread and there will be some uh, empty containers or agrochemicals will be there in the agriculture waste what this mean by agrochemical or empty container that is the pesticides or fertilizers we are using in the agriculture field so from that um, the bottles will be remained in the agriculture land itself those things also comes under the agriculture waste next is mining and quarrying waste mining waste from the term itself you know that when we do mining what are the waste generated is called as mining for example it can be a top soil rock and dirt all these things comes under the mining waste so uh, nowadays these mining waste are creating so much pollution uh, rather than uh, soil pollution it is creating air pollution also so mine tailing from or extraction are contaminated with metals or chemicals that can be used for mineral separation coming to the energy production waste energy production is generated from the thermal power plant so you know that what is meant by thermal power plant thermal power plant the fly ash will be generated the fly ash is actually people are considering it as a waste material but we civilians we civil engineering people nowadays we are using this fly ash as an additive material along with cement so it gives more strength to the construction so as like fly ash how we are using we have to reuse the waste material generated in our world so that we can reduce the different types of pollution that is soil pollution water pollution and air pollution generated from this waste disposal next us so i hope you all understood about the sources of waste so what are the different types of uh, sources and what are the different types of waste generated from the solid
solid waste. Coming to the classification of municipal solid waste, there are two types of uh, classification are there. First is based on the kind of waste. What is the kind of waste? So, I had already told garbage, rubbish, ashes, etc. Okay, so we will go in depth with the uh, kind of waste. So, garbage means from where the garbage is coming. Garbage will be coming from cooking or from the servicing of food, market waste, etc. And rubbish. Rubbish can be of two types. Combustible and non-combustible is there. Combustible means combustible. Hearing that itself, you know it will burn. So, that is paper, boxes, cartoon or uh, tree branches, etc. comes under the combustible one. And no combustible means metals, tin cans, the glasses, crockery, etc. comes under the non-combustible one. So, this combustible one will generate from the household, restaurants or institutions. But the non-combustible usually generate from the market sources. Then comes under the ash. Ash is another kind of waste. Ash means it is a residue from the fire cooking. Like when we do cooking in home, if we don't have a gas stove, we will do using the wood. So, at that time, there will be ashes will be generated. That is known as the uh, residue. What is generated from uh, fire used for cooking is known as ashes or on-site incineration. From the on-site water or the material we are incinerating, ashes will be generated. And refuse. Refuse means what are the ways generated from the uh, streets like uh, the municipality people that is they are sweeping the streets and getting the waste. So, leaf waste will be there or dirt will be there or um, garden trimmings will be there all comes under refuse. Dead animals. As you all know what is dead animal. So, through an accident if a cat is passed away or cat is dead or dogs are dead. So, those comes under the dead animals. Abandoned vehicles. So, the vehicles were thus unwanted and left, left over on the public roadsides or in public property. That comes under the abandoned vehicle. Demolition waste. As I already told, what is meant by demolition? So, the demolition waste, waste are pipe, brick, masonry, etc. Construction waste. Construction waste is whatever we are constructing for the purpose we are using pipes or construction material. So, those comes under the con construction waste. So, this is from the new construction or remolding places. Special waste. Special waste has a hazardous waste. So, it can be from hospitals also. Sewage treatment residue that I already told from the sewage plant, from grid chamber or septic tank sludge etc. comes under that. So, the second category of classification is based on heat content. So, here you can see based on heat content. What is a trash? In trash, what is a heat content? So, the moisture content is very less in trash that is 10% so that the heat value per kilogram of refuse fired is 19 percentage. In the case of rubbish, since the moisture content is more, heat value is 15 percent. In the case of refuse, you can see the moisture content is 50 percent. So, it is incombustible solid is 7 percent. So, the heat value per kilogram is 10. So, here also you can see the garbage moisture content is more 70 percent. So, the heat value is reduced a lot that is 5 percent. Animal and solid organic waste it is 85 percent moisture content so very low heat value that is 2.3 percent so based on the moisture content the heat value varies so uh, i hope you all understood about what are the sources of waste and from that sources what are the types of waste generated and you had also studied about different uh, classification of waste based on the kind and based on the heat so here come some some of the self learning questions so first question is the municipal solid waste is the term used to describe which kind of solid waste so has hazardous toxic non hazardous non toxic so you all know that municipal solid waste that is the first residential commercial uh, etc comes under the municipal solid waste the industry is not coming under the municipal solid waste so it is a non hazardous waste Second question is identify the waste that are known as a municipal solid waste from the following. Wood pieces, we know that it is a municipal waste. Plastic can also be a municipal waste. Food waste is also a municipal waste. So the answer is all of the above. The third question is identify the correct one from the given list about waste. There is no real waste in nature. So we know that there is no real waste is not generating in nature. We, the people, the human beings or the animals are generating the waste. The apparent waste collected from one process become the input to another. It's true because we can recycle and reuse most of the waste. All processes of 
conception and production produce a waste so in houses also whatever we are consuming and producing we are generating a waste in that case so the answer is all of the above so i hope you all understood this class so in the next class we will be studying about what is the composition of the solid waste thank you everyone